and welcome to our lesson on using place value to write a decimal as a fraction or a mixed number. We're going to convert 0 0.7 to a simplified fraction and we're going to do it using a place value table. The most important thing is to line up the decimal point between the units and the tenths. So we have zero units and seven tenths. And because we have seven tenths, the decimal terminates in the tenths column. We write the decimal over 10. So seven tenths. And that cannot be simplified. We have 0 0.5. So no units. Line up the decimal point and five tenths. Again, it terminates in the tenths column. So it will be five over 10. And this we can simplify because 5 is the highest common factor of the numerator and denominator. So 5 divided by 5 is 1 and 10 divided by 5 is 2. 0 0.08, well, no units, line up a decimal point, 0 tenths and 8 hundredths. So because it terminates in the hundredths column, it is 8 over 100 or 8 hundredths and we can simplify this fraction by dividing both by the highest common factor of 4 so that would be 8 divided by 4 which is 2 100 divided by 4 which is 25 do you want to try question D by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready okay for question D we have no units line up a decimal point three tenths and two hundredths and because it terminates in the hundredth column it is 32 over 100. We can see that this works because we have three tenths plus the two hundredths. We can add these with a common denominator of 100 so multiplying this by 10 we have 30 hundredths plus 2 hundredths, which is, like we said, 32 hundredths. So now we can simplify this fraction by dividing both by 4. 30 divided by 4 is 8. 100 divided by 4 is 25. Do you want to try question E by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready? Okay, for question E, we have one unit, line up a decimal point, and six tenths. Again, consider the one unit and the six tenths. Well, we can add these two together with a common denominator. So the one would become 10 over 10 plus the six over 10, which is 16 over 10. And this will simplify by dividing both by 2. So we have 8 fifths. And the last one, 1.12. Go ahead and pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So we have 1 unit, line up a decimal point, 1 tenth, and 2 hundredths. Because it terminates in the hundredth column, we can see it would be 100. And 12 over 100. We also know this because the 100 would be 100 over 100. The 1 tenth would be 10 over 100. And the 2 hundredths would be 2 over 100. And when we add them all together, we do get 112 one hundredths. So we can simplify this fraction by dividing both by 2. 56 over 50. We can simplify this again by dividing both by 2. So we have 28 over 25. You could also write this as 1 and 3 25ths. Okay, so our challenge question K 
can you match the decimal with its equivalent fraction or mixed number? Do you want to pause the video and resume it when you're ready? Okay, so we'll begin with 0.35, which is no units, 3 tenths, and 5 hundredths. We have 3 tenths and 5 hundredths. The 3 tenths is equivalent to 30 over 100 plus the 5 over 100, so that would be 35 hundredths. And we can simplify the fraction 35 over 100 by dividing both by 5. So we have 7 over 20. So 0 0.35 matches with 7 twentieths. We'll move on to 0 0.40. So no units, 4 tenths and no hundredths. So we have four tenths. We can ignore this placeholder here. So the four tenths, we can simplify that by dividing both by two. So we have two fifths. So 0 0.40 or 0 0.4 matches with two fifths. Okay, let's look at 2.5. So two units, decimal point lines up, and five tenths. It terminates in the tenth column. So we have 25 over 10. We can simplify this by dividing both by five. So we have five over two. So 2.5 matches with five over two. We'll move on to 1.5. So one unit and five tenths, which is 15 tenths. We can divide both by the highest common factor of five. So we have three over two. So 1.5 matches with three over two. And the last one we have 1.2, so one unit and two tenths, which is 12 tenths, which simplifies to make six fifths by dividing both by two. So six fifths, well, we have one whole, which is the five fifths, plus the one fifth left, which is why we have six fifths. And this can be written as one, and one fifth. So you can see why 1.2 matches with one and one fifth. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.